Mädchen, gib mir auch heute. Hami gemacht. Ich möchte fahren. Ha, schon. Becoming a Polyglot. <laughs> This introduction will get better over time, I promise. <laughs> If you've seen one of my latest videos, this one, then you know that I have been studying uh, Scottish Gaelic for a couple of months now, I think. <laughs> And uh, I got a lot of questions about it, of course, why I'm learning it. It's all explained in this video. Um, but mostly the question, isn't this a very expensive language to learn in terms of uh, the resources being often very expensive when you learn a language which is very niche? And the funny thing is that I have been learning this language for free. <laughs> I actually found a lot of free resources for learning this language, even more so than the Czech language, which I did uh, three years ago, where I really struggled with finding uh, new materials. But no, I, um, I came across a lot of websites, podcasts, and I thought I have to share this with you. Free resource, free resources <laughs> for learning Scottish garlic. I will also include some stuff that does cost a bit of money um and then it's up to you if you want to do so or not okay so i've cut this up into um resources free resources about the language and free resources about the culture because um as you all know i also love learning about uh, the culture of various countries and i find that with this language along with for instance chinese i feel like you have to also get familiarized with the culture whilst learning the language. If you want to look at a specific part, just look at the timestamps down below. Before we get started, obviously I will put every link in my bio down below so you can uh, look the sites up as well. But without further ado, let's just get started. And I've looked it up. It is Toshishihin. Or at least <laughs> something along that line. Let's go, let's get started. It's Scottish garlic. It's such a difficult language. Okay, first I want to start off with Duolingo. Yes, Duolingo has Scottish Gaelic. Uh, also Irish, by the way, if you're a language enthusiast and starting your Celtic journey, it also has Irish. Um, I actually really like Duolingo, honestly. Um, which is very funny because if you are familiar with a uh, language, YouTubers, you often see why I don't like Duolingo. <laughs> um, I, I used to agree. I think for specific languages, Duolingo is not your best friend. Uh, I find Chinese and Korean not that well for Duolingo and I'm just sick and tired of learning the man eats rice in French and Spanish. Uh, <laughs> but for uh, Scottish garlic, I actually do like it. And uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'll share my screen with you. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Okay, continuing to Duolingo. Uh, Scottish Gaelic Duolingo. Like I said, you also have Irish, but no, we just do Scottish Ga Gaelic. 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 Um, why I like Duolingo for this particular language? Because of the guidebook as well. Um, and the fact that everything can be pronounced out loud. Even... Google Translate cannot pronounce Scottish Gaelic phrases and words. And this is, I wouldn't say it's not a tonal language, but for me, there is no link between the letters and the pronunciation just yet. So I really need to hear the pronunciation in order to understand it. So uh, let's hear it. Sure. Cool. That was very loud. Sorry for the earphone listeners. You also hear different voices for... Uh, uh, with their pronunciation, which I really very much like. And now we are back here and you see that I am in unit two and with each unit you have that guidebook once again. Um, I'm not going to show you the Scottish Gaelic Duolingo uh, exercises because I feel like you already know by heart how Duolingo works. I uh, just wanted to mention that I really like um, learning this language with Duolingo. Then I want to go on to a podcast and this podcast is from the Coffee Break Languages and you may be familiarized with the Coffee Break Languages. Uh, they make podcasts 
initially for you to listen to in or during your coffee break. <laughs> uh, what is their their slogan? Turn your downtime into due time. Something like that. Something along those lines. Um, but actually, they just started with Scottish garlic, which is really really nice. And not only are these podcasts 20 minutes long so they're really comprehensible uh, they also share some uh, cultural knowledge about some of the vocabulary that you have just learned uh, which i find really interesting um, so i always listen to their podcast on the bus to work <laughs> or on a train to, to university and i really really like it they also have a website so let's check it out I hope you can all see this. We are now on the Coffee Break Languages website. Um, as you can see, learn a language on your coffee break. You have all the courses, the podcasts, the merchandising even. <laughs> Very nice. And if you scroll on their website, you'll find Coffee Break Gaelic. So let's click on that one. Do you want to start learning Scottish Gaelic today? Yes, definitely. And uh, Susanna and Mark are teaching, or oh, are teaching us Gaelic actually, which is very, very nice and very fun to listen to. And like I said, it's just like fifteen to twenty minute podcast every episode, so really doable. Listen to it on a train. Listen to it on a bus. Anything really nice if we scroll further you see why they started scottish garlic but if you're really invested in learning scottish garlic you can actually pay for their courses coffee break uh, makes courses as well and uh, here you find the coffee break garlic course um they call it just garlic it, in this case they solely mean scottish garlic and not irish garlic so if you're interested in that, you are ready to start learning and you can um, subscribe to one of their courses. Yes, but by all means, the podcast episodes are all free and you can listen to them on your device. Okay, now I want to continue to two websites because I think they are linked to each other, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just going to mention it to you. I have my phone here with some notes. Uh, the first one is Speak Gaelic by the BBC and the second one second one is Learn Gaelic and these two websites look very similar to each other but both are very very useful let's start with Speak Gaelic first all right we are now on the Speak Gaelic Gaelic website and uh, I, I saw yeah this by the BBC there it is this is by the BBC and the Scottish government um, a new generation of Gaelic learning. Like I said last in my last video, um, Scottish Gaelic is in an uprise right now because not many people actually speak this language anymore in Scotland, I mean. And um, the government is funding a lot of great initiatives so that more people are able to learn the Scottish Gaelic language. And this is such a site. They also have an Instagram, <laughs> which I follow as well, um, where you can learn online. So yeah, let's just get started. What can we find? Learning online with A1 for B2 advanced. And there we go. Welcome back, Vera. I made an account for this website um, to explore it with you all. And of course, I am on an A1 level of garlic. I can't even imagine being on a level higher than that, honestly. I find it, uh, for once, very user friendly. Um, as you can see, the videos are all supported by the BBC, which I think is really nice, as they use authentic materials. So let's start with topic one. You see a lot of lessons are unfolding about introducing yourself, asking people's names, where are they from, saying thank you, greetings, etc. Okay, so let's learn how to say hello in Scottish Gaelic. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> We'll begin with some phrases you can use every day of the week. To say good morning in Gaelic, it's Matheva. Good morning. You get the idea. This is just really nice. By BBC Alaba. It says Alba, but I know that between the L and the B there comes an L or, or I mean an A. It says Alaba. Something along that line. Anyways, BBC Scotland. <laughs> and you can practice with that. So this is a very, very nice site. Let's go back to the dashboard. 
You can see A2 as well here, B1 even. So all the way up until B2. And you see there's also some cultural aspects in there. They talk about the lowlands, the highlands. You also have to learn uh, Scottish Gaelic names because often they are pronounced very differently. And uh, you have to learn how to pronounce them in English, which is very funny. So you have an English name and you also have a Scottish Gaelic name for the same name. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, we, I'm not used to that. We don't have that. Okay, now that we have uh, explored that website, let's look at Learn Gaelic then. So the last thing that I want to show you is Learn Gaelic. And this is why I think they are connected to each other because you can also go to Speak Gaelic. Um, and on this website are a lot of free online Scottish Gaelic learning resources, like a lot. Uh, you can get started with um, exercises, almost roughly the same as Speak Gaelic. Uh, you can watch videos from the BBC Alba, Alaba. You have a dictionary, course finder. So if you were to be in Scotland or somewhere else or you just feel like, wow, I would like to have a tutor, then you can go on this website, Course Finder, and go online and find groups, study groups. Uh, some universities uh, sometimes offer actually uh, courses as well, so you can go there. Sometimes it's online, sometimes in person, it's up to you. So this is once again a very, very big website with lots and lots to do. I mean, if you click on this, get started, you can see here all of the seven levels, even up until C2. Oh my goodness, I did not even know that, honestly. But of course, you can also start at the very beginning, <laughs> A1. Um, he watched Gaelic as well, some real life TV shows from the BBC Alaba uh, broadcasting. You can also see the Gaelic text here, the English text, and then side by side. You can even learn vocab from the video. So this is a website I highly, highly recommend along with the Speak Gaelic website. Okay, now we're going to some free resources about the Scottish Gaelic uh, Celtic culture. <laughs> I've uh, found really a lot of podcasts about it, honestly. Just look on Spotify, type in Scottish Gaelic or just Celtic and you'll find a lot out there, honestly. So what I like is the Celtic Students podcast. This podcast is about um, actually all of the Celtic languages one by one, but you can definitely find also Scottish Gaelic. The Scottish Clan podcast. This is really more history. Um, rather than just culture in the now and then, <laughs> more his historical perspective, which I very much like because uh, they actually take a family and they dive into the history of that family, of the clan. Um, so obviously I listened to the Fraser clan, <laughs> the Fraser episode, because I was just really curious um, about the actual historic facts about the clan Fraser of Lovett um, and if you've seen Outlander you know why. <laughs> you also have the Scottish History podcast. I think you can already imagine what's that all about so yeah and there is a very nice podcast. I'm, I really I really love it. It's Your Dead to Me by the BBC. It was recommended to me by my uh, teacher and since then I've listened to every episode. It's Honestly, I think this is my favorite podcast of all. Um, you're dead to me. It's, I also recommended this podcast for learning uh, for the CPE, the Cambridge Proficiency Exam, uh, the C2 level or C1, uh, whichever Cambridge exam you're going to partake in. But um, it's just really good for your vocabulary by hearing different topics uh, being talked about as well. So really, I highly recommend it. But they made various episodes about Scotland, about Ireland. Uh, the last one was, right now the last one in 2023, was about Irish myths and folk tales, something along those lines. And they made an episode about the real Jacobite cause. So once again, if you've seen Outlander, <laughs> or if you're just interested in Scotland, and the history. I really recommend that episode, so I will link it down below. And then this one, this uh, is a book that I actually bought. Uh, I already showed it before. It's Clanlands by Sam Yugen and Graham McTavish, who both play 
also play in Outlander and various other TV shows and movies. Uh, but in this book they travel across Scotland in a minivan <laughs> together, uh, which is just very fun to read about. But actually Graham McTavish knows a lot about his own history, <laughs> about his country's history, so therefore I find it a must read. Because after the summer I will start with Celtic at the University of Utrecht, I will learn Old Irish, um, I will probably encounter many much more, many more, many more, much more, workbooks, books, textbooks, resources, everything and anything and uh, this is therefore part one I think of this video and um, part two will be uploaded somewhere in the future. Maybe it's also good to mention because I think I failed to mention it in my last video about learning uh, Scottish Gaelic is that I am learning this language because I am majoring in literature, English literature, at uh, my next university and therefore I want to be able to know this language already uh, or at least get familiarised with this language so I can use it later on to read historical manuscripts etc. So um, for all the people out there who already messaged me saying all Irish <laughs> <laughs> Why the heck would you learn that? It's not even spoken nowadays. Why would you learn Celtic? Celtic is not a language. I know, I know, and I know it's not spoken today. Although bits and pieces of Old Irish can still be found in modern day Irish and therefore also with Scottish Gaelic. So uh, those are all Celtic languages. Uh, no, Celtic on its own is the branch from where other languages are formed. So. I will probably also be sharing that journey of Old Irish, learning Old Irish, <laughs> which is even more niche than Scottish Gaelic. But now you know why I truly am learning this language. It's not for the purpose of going to a pub uh, in Scotland and saying, Camera, how are you? <laughs> I mean, that would be nice, but I know that there are not many Scottish pubs or people in Scotland actually speak Gaelic. Gaelic. It's mostly for historical purposes to be able to read uh, old manuscripts, literature, books, uh, short stories, etc. So that is why I'm learning this language. <laughs> if you are learning Scottish Gaelic as well and you have some other resources, please let me know in the comments down below. That would be amazing. And if you're curious to hear more about my Celtic journey, I think I'm just going to call it that Celtic. I made a playlist on my YouTube uh, with Celtic languages, study Celtic languages with me. So uh, definitely hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. And I am very excited to get started in September with uh, learning Old Irish. I, re I really can't wait, honestly. <laughs> if you are curious about a video about what I'm actually going to study I can always do that just like a sit down video tea time video <laughs> let me know and I will film that video too and then this summer I will just prepare yeah I'm going to prepare for my next studies I'm really looking forward to it all right bye bye